Hi, I would like to demonstrate some of the very useful and very unique features of Splintech VBS debugger. First, we open the file, then we make sure the start points to it, and we check the parameters if this file requires, which in this case it does. And then we press run. That's it. It stopped on the first line of code, which is on error is the next. And let me just a little bit make it a little bit better. And now we can step. Boom, boom. Okay. First of all, I want you to notice that the steps are taking the steps are very fast. The debugger is very, very fast. And uh, second thing I want you to notice is the steps panel that every step is registered so it's not lost somewhere in space and you can always revisit it, you can go back and like this and, and, say, and check where you were because many times when you when, when you uh, debug fast like click 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 and step and you, uh, you no longer remember where you were and, and you have to restart debugging every time you're confused and uh, and that really takes a lot of time with this feature just this feature alone is really is really sometimes a lifesaver because you don't have to uh, uh, restart the debug okay that's feature number one feature number two that's very interesting so I'm, I don't know about you but I find stepping like this uh, not very amusing and, and, and most of the most of the uh, uh, lines of code we step through are actually nothing more but a preparation to some function call. I found that if I only pause into function calls I could really get the most out of my debugging and save a lot of time and I thought to myself I gotta implement this and I wrote this feature which I called step through which is very unique to my debuggers uh, that where I specify, uh, tell the debugger, hey, step up to 50, 50 steps or until you are in a new function. Until basically the call stack shows a new function. Let's, let's take a look. You see, it steps, oops, boom, and it's, and it's right here. The minute that the second step into a new function, it paused. So we skipped all the boring pieces of code that Okay, if this is not installed, and if, if it's not, if it's empty, whatever, then display usage, and then we'll do this, and then add this, and then do, do, do this loop. Completely non-essential lines of code that were nothing more but a preparation to the next function call are skipped. And I find it very, very useful, and many, many of my customers who actually uh, get, get, get the privilege to use this uh, feature, uh, find it very useful to debug their actual production big big sites or big pages or big uh, you know administration scripts whatever and I think this is absolutely amazing feature that everybody should use to their advantage anytime they debug let's continue you see this time we didn't step 50 times we just it just stepped through and it, it just stepped this line for us got to this line, then it stepped this line, and it paused inside of a new function call. You understand? That's how steps will work. So it basically checks the call stack, and if it says, hey, this new step into th that it did resulted in, in being in a new uh, uh, function, then it pauses and lets you decide what you do next. You can check the, the parameters like this, you know, and uh, mouse over and decide what you do what what to do next and i think this feature is very is real is really a, a huge time saver because many many times you don't need to know all that you don't need to step through uh, manually every, every line of code so that's feature number two uh, another feature that i really like there are many features that i like i actually use my debuggers a lot and a lot of people are using it in the past seven years, and I think uh, maybe even more than seven years. I don't know. I, I, it seems like it's been ages. And but th th there is another feature that I want to show you. This this feature is a current variable panel. 
many times when you're debugging uh, more advanced stuff like you have record sets or you have XMLs or, or HTML or something of that nature when you have a text that doesn't fit in the one line it's very useful to have this panel current, current variable panel and that will just show you the whole text right away without you having to copy it like this and paste it in some notebook, notepad or whatever. So I think this count variable panel is very useful and uh, it's very it's it's unique to my debuggers that it only our, only our debuggers have have this feature and uh, and it comes it comes in handy very often. Uh, another uh, interesting feature is immediate. Well, some people use it. I personally don't use it that much, but some people use it. So they can type in, you can do some interesting stuff here. Uh, more interesting feature is IntelliSense. I'm going to move the debugger a little bit to show it better. I'll do it like this. Okay. Basically, IntelliSense, uh, well, to, to, to show IntelliSense, I have to stop the buying because I need to type something in. Well, th this is just the message from the script, the neighbor, okay, this, and that doesn't matter. Uh, it's not an error message, so it's just a, it's just a message, just a alert. Uh, for example, this IntelliSense allows me to uh, check, up, check out the properties of any ActiveX object installed on my machine or and every built-in object. So if I just want to check it up, I can check it out. If I want to uh, if, if, I'm, if I'm working on it and say I'm saying uh, hey uh, uh, I need to type in something for example I'm just going to show you something like this for example I type in double script dot and it shows me this IntelliSense panel on the left that doesn't disappear. That's very important. I found a little bit annoying an uh, industry standard implementation of IntelliSense, which which shows you a small panel here and that just appears. And the minute you click out out of it, it disappears. And you have to come back and press dot again, and 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 you don't remember which are the parameters. For example, you're using connect object. It's got two parameters. Now, you, if you scrolled it, you no longer know like. Uh, where, where which are the parameters with my implementation of IntelliSense you always know it's it's in a separate panel and I find it much more useful and and uh, and I hope uh, you'll find it useful too so this is important so every built-in uh, object is, is, is included in IntelliSense the other thing that's very important to know about our IntelliSense is it doesn't it's not hard-coded so this data is taken actually from the DLL. And if you type in audio DB, well, I already typed in, so it's in cache uh, of this list. But nonetheless, this, this data is actually taken from the actual instance of record set object that is instantiated in memory by the VBS debugger. And it reads all of its properties and parameters. And you can really feel secure that Hey, these are the actual parameters of my ActiveX object that, that I'm uh, IntelliSense. It's not some hard-coded stuff. So I think that's very important. Uh, in the next demos, I'll show some more. Thank you very much.